Hey everyone, Tommy Marquez here with another edition of Inside the Leaderboard presented by Bear Complex. I'm on location in Sao Paulo, Brazil, where 18.1 will be going down a little bit later today. And uh, since we're in Latin America and Brazil, we're down here to kick off the season, we figured we'd take a look and take a dive into the competitiveness and growth of both Latin America and Brazil as a catalyst for some of the changes that we've seen this season. Now, the Open has seen some tremendous growth in recent years, and Latin America and Brazil are a big factor in that regard. Since our last format change in 2015, Open registration has grown by 43%. LATAM's growth in nearly double that and has grown by 83% during that same time frame. But all that pales in comparison to the country of Brazil, who's more than doubled their numbers and grown by a whopping 148% since 2015. That's more than three times the rate of the rest of the world. But the growth of Latin America has been accompanied by some pretty significant competition improvements as well at both the open and regional level. During that same three-year span, the average worldwide finish of the 10 women guaranteed a spot at regionals improved from 541st in 2015 to 311th in 2016, all the way up to 218th last year. That's basically on par with other regions like Northern California, Southern California, Canada West. Well, and the men from Latin America improved drastically as well, with their average finish going from 790th in 2015 to 289th last year. At regionals, the best Latin America has to offer has shown improvement as well. We took the finishes of the best man, woman, and team from Latin America at the South Regional, and in 2015, their average finish was 25th. One year later, it jumped 10 spots up to 15th, and last year, their average finish at the South was 9th, including sending the Big Friends team to the games in Madison, Wisconsin. And when you look at the strides that Latin America has made over the last few years, the role of Brazil, in particular, can't be overstated. This month, Brazil became the first country besides the U.S. to break the 1,000 affiliate barrier, which places them second in the world in terms of affiliate numbers. There were 19,726 Brazilians registered in the Open last year, which, if Brazil had been a region by itself, it would have been the 10th largest region ahead of NorCal, SoCal, Canada East and West, Southwest, Northwest, Africa, and Asia. They also put their first affiliate on the podium in 2017 when teenager Guilherme Malheros finished second at the games in the 16 to 17 division. Overall, the improvement on all fronts from Latin America and Brazil is pretty staggering and their appetite for CrossFit and CrossFit competition is undeniable, which has earned them recognition in the form of their own regional this year and a spot at the games. That's gonna do it for this edition of Inside the Leaderboard. I'm Tommy Marquez. Be sure to tune in later tonight. We have 18.1 going down live. That's 5 p.m. Pacific. Kristen Holta versus Sam Briggs to kick off the open season. You can catch that live stream at games.crossfit.com.